Welcome back to another Math Homework Helpers Short. I'm Max, and with me today is the amazing Mr. Tang, of course. Mr. Tang, how are you? I'm doing great, Max. How are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. Fantastic. I got to say, that last live show we had was a blast, and so it, had, it was so much fun. A lot of friends called in. Yep. They won a lot of prize packs. They did. We did a lot of math together. Yep. It was a good time with a lot of friends here. Yep, it was fantastic, and we learned a lot of math. It was wonderful. Thanks to everybody who called in, and I can't wait to do it again soon. Yeah, make sure you get your calls in and your YouTube chat. That's right. So what do we got today here, Mr. Tang? All right, so grade two friends going into unit four. We're working on a lot of, of measurement stuff. Oh, cool. Um, but in order to be able to do some of the measurement stuff, we need to get some good foundational understanding of place value. So we're going to be doing a little bit of practice with that today. Okie dokies. All right. So we have a couple word problems here that we could try to figure out together. And I know you love dogs, oh, and we man. do have dogs in our, in our problems today. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so it says fill in the bubble next to the correct answer. Okay, we'll figure that out. The first one says the number on pencil puppy's dog tag has a six in the tens place. It has a four in the ones place. What is the number on her tag? Hmm. So as we develop number sense and bigger understanding of the number system, we're gonna get jump into place value. So okay. here it talks about the tens place and the ones place. So we have to be able to understand that all numbers, uh, all the digits have a value uh, associated with it. So okay. here it says uh, the pencil puppy's dog tag has a six in the tens place and a four in the ones place. So would this number be a six in the tens place and a four in the ones place? Mm, I think that would be backwards. Yeah, so we have a six in the ones place and a four in the tens place, so that is not right. Incorrect! So if we have a six in the tens place, that means we have a six first, because that's gonna be our tens, and then a four in our ones place. <gasps> I think I see it. And it's take the a, second one! And take a look, that 46 was one of the, the choices here to trick us. We know that's not gonna that's be not the right it. answer. So we double checked, right? We have a four in the ones place and a six in the tens place, and that's gonna be 64. There you go. So pencil puppy's dog tag has the number 64 on it. Cool. All right, the number on pal's dog tag has a seven in the tens place and a three in the ones place. So remember, the first digit is going to be our ones place. From left to right, of course. Right, right. And no, then left to right. From right, <laughs> Sorry, <a> little <laughs> from right to left, uh. right? Ones place, and then we have our tens place. And we say first because if a number has four, five, six, seven digits, then that will be the first digit from our left to right. So right. we're gonna go from our right to left. Gotcha. All right, so the number on pal's dog tag has a seven in the tens place, and it has a three in the ones place. We know we have two digits, a tens place and a ones place, and we have a three in the ones place and a seven in the tens place. Uh -huh. And the most common mistake kids will probably make is switching those numbers like we did in that first one. Right, right. But we know that's not going to be 37. Of course, they're going to try to trick us here. Mm -hmm. And we know our answer is going to be 73. 73. So pencil has 64 and pal has 73. These are very interesting dog names. Yeah. I, I like, like it. I like it too. I want to call no, I want, my next dog, I'm going to name Fish. <laughs> it's always one of the, I think it's such a great name. What about cat? Fish. Oh yeah! Well, I already have a I already have a fish named Cat, so I figured this way, you know, moving around a little bit, keep it interesting. All right. All right. What do we got? Moving on. The so pencil puppy's house pencil puppy's house number has a three in the tens place and it has a five in the ones place. All right. So we know that we're going to have our ones place, and then we have our tens place. So pencil puppy. So there's only two digits. Right. Um, three in the tens place here and a five in the ones place so three tens five ones it's going 35. to be 35 I like how you start by writing the tens and ones place you know I start in, in the last one I didn't do that for pencil puppies first one and that's where I got confused here yeah. I wasn't sure until I really thought through it but then after writing that down, it really helped me to organize my thoughts. That's right. It's a great system to use there. All right. So pal's house number. Okay. We have another number. Ones place, tens place. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have our ones place. And we have our tens place. And pal's house number has a seven in the ones place. 
and a four in the tens place. There wow, I think we're getting better at this, huh? Yeah, 47. I think 40. once you know where the numbers go, this is pretty basic stuff, pretty easy. Yeah, so that's all place value understanding. Okay? Uh -huh. So we're gonna get better and better at that and we're gonna be able to go ones, tens, and after that, when we get into like second and third and fourth grade, we're gonna go all the way up to the millions. What, millions? Yeah. Whoa, that's awesome. That's exciting. That is exciting. All right, this one looks a little tougher. Let's see. Pencil Puppy has 43 pencils in her house. Pal has 29 pencils in his house. How many pencils do they have in all? Whoa. Wow, okay. So let's let's think about place value and try to figure out how we can use our understanding of place value to figure out how many they have in all. Okay. So that means pencil has pen pencil has pencils and pal has pencils. Man, this is getting complicated already. <laughs> it is getting a little complicated. Couldn't they name the dog marker or pen? <laughs> All right, here we go. Or fish. Or fish. Yeah. All right, so we, hey, speaking of, oh, never mind. I already told you about that. <laughs> so 43 pencils and 29 pencils. So I know that pencil has four tens and three ones. So that's the number 43. Okay. And then pal has two tens and nine ones. So if we can combine our ones together and then combine our tens together, this might make it a lot easier for us to figure out. Oh, okay. So I know that three ones and nine ones, okay, that's going to be three plus nine, that's going to be... Ooh, 12. 12. And then we have four tens and two tens. So four tens, which is another way of saying 40. Right. Plus two tens, which is another way of saying 20. So four groups of 10 and two groups of 10 is going to be six groups of 10 or 60. 60. So all together we have 12 and 60. Okay, let's see if we can find, we'll go back on, uh, to that side to do finish this up. Okay. So if we have 60 and 12, that's going to give us. So we just add them together. 72. There it is. Boom! Cool! So Pencil and Pal have 72 pencils all together. Nice. That's awesome. a lot of pencils. That is a lot of pencils. Man. All right, and I think that is all the time we have for today. Okay. Well, boy, oh boy. I, t I tell you, not only did I learn some math, but I want to go get another fish. Name it Cat. All right, moving on. Boys and girls, thanks so much for tuning in today. We can't wait to help you out again next time here on Math Homework Helper Shorts. Until then, keep working on your math, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye!